hello everyone in the previous video we learned that how we can send our values to the server and we successfully validate our user on the server side and also on the client side so we displayed these validation on the client side so now the time is to save this into the database so here you need to type uh, create it's a static method and uh, here you need to type uh, name because we name this in the database and we need to define the request and we are getting this uh, from name right and then i'm going to make this uh, type and uh, here i need to make this uh, request type right okay so now it's good and uh, i need to add this here so first let me check that our values are saving into the database are not so let's go here i'm going to type this uh, mobile right and then i'm going to add this so uh, electronic right so let's also open this uh, database here let me close this out here and uh, now submit this save and uh, hope this will be saved into the database and yes oops click on it and no response it means that our request is successfully saved uh, sent and saved this into the database so let's get refresh and check that our values are saved and yes now our values are saved but uh, here our model is not closed we are getting these uh, ex uh, same errors so first we are going to get rid of uh, from these errors so how we can get rid of these errors so basically these are not errors these are already added html so we need to clear this html when our request is sent again to the server right so let's go to the create and in the create when we are uh, when we are submitting our request uh, when we are clicking on this save button so we are going to make them empty so here i'm going to let me first assign them a class uh, this would be a class so uh, error messages okay let me uh, copy this uh, error message not message it's a messages okay also assign this error messages so basically i assign this uh, assign this error messages class to both ones because i want to make this uh, clear at once not uh, going to define this uh, separate this one is also separate so you can do that. i will tell you in a minute okay so when i'm going to submit this uh, form so i'm going to click on this button so what i want to do this i want to make this uh, error messages dot uh, html would be empty right so now let's get refresh and uh, let's click on this uh, add category and uh, click on this save and wait for a moment to complete this and yes name field is required so if i now i'm going to click on this save category again so it's going to first remove the error and then going to append it again save and removed and yes errors again happen so if i type here mobile uh, samsung i'm naming this very weird category and then i'm going to leave this so it's now going to display us a message on this type not on this name so let's save this one and wait for a moment and yes now this message is disappeared why whenever we are submitting our and we are clicking on this save button so we are empty this messages so when new error will be happen so it will be automatically appended from this so error uh, property from this right so when we select this uh, category so it will automatically will be disappeared and yes it's disappeared and our request is uh, our properties are saved into the database but this uh, we want to when our a request is submitted so we want to close these values so how we can do this so let's go to the console and in the console here we are receiving the response so how we can uh, get the response from the server and close this model based on this request okay so here we need to add this uh, return we are not going to redirect our web page we are going to just uh, pass uh, success status code 
to tell the Ajax that uh, our request is sent successfully, right? So here you need to type uh, response. So it's available on the Laravel. These helpers are available, right? And then you need to type JSON. And in the JSON, I want to pass uh, uh, two things. The first uh, would be the message. So what message? So I want to pass. Uh, uh, basically i want to pass a success so here i want to type uh, category saved oops category saved success fully oops success fully okay uh, i type this uh, message successfully and then i'm going to also define its status code so in the next uh, uh, this JSON accept two uh, two parameter. The first one would be the message, and then second would be the status code. So I pass this two zero one, which is uh, means that our request is successfully executed. So it's a success code. So now it's going to return this two zero one to this uh, category, and then here we are going to. You can also check its status code, but when it's going to add this in the success so it means that our request is successfully passed and it's executed right so here i'm going to check that uh, i'm going to basically first console dot uh, log so what i'm going to make this response dot success so we define this success uh, key in the controller right so let's get refresh and uh, check that what we are returning it from the controller and what we are getting this in the console okay let's add this from this fake filler chrome extension save and wait for a moment to complete this process and yes it's turning category saved successfully right so it's returning it from the success so here we can check that if if there is a response right so we want to append this uh, response we can append this response or we can display this through any of the suite alert or any of the toaster right so let me add uh, some toaster and then i'm going to display this here so i'm going to add this suite alert which is very popular and it's having a very um, popular very pretty messages right so let's go to the suite alert website so let me check the video size no it's not going bigger okay sweet alert github io dot no i'm not going to sweet alert 2 i'm going to sweet alert js.org okay wait for a moment to complete this process you can install this through above command but i'm going to just add the cdn i don't want to do this why it's not copying this one okay okay now i'm able to copy this one oops let me hide this oh my god hide data wrong so i need to add this in the header section because this is uh, for you used to add this in the header section you don't need to add this in the section so here i'm going to display an error right 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 uh, so let me grab a simple message so this would be a very simple so i will pass this uh, an error property so let's go to the ajax call method again uh, why my computer is working very slow okay so here in the success I'm going to add this one and uh, here good job you can also rename this good job so you can name this uh, success or whatever you want success you can also remove this exclamatory sign so let me remove this uh, hard-coded message I want to pass a dynamic message so this dynamic message is in the response dot success so now let's get refresh and check that uh, how we are getting the message right so now i'm going to go back and click on this add category then i'm going to fake filler chrome extension so if you are not familiar with this, this one you can use this for uh, filling the fake data so it's chrome extension save and wait for a moment to and yes now it is playing that category saved successfully so 
So it means that we successfully saved our values into the database and now it's telling us that our data is saved. But we want to close this model when our category is saved, right? So how we can do this? So let's go here. And before this, I want to close this uh, model right here. So I want to close this model here. So how I can close this model? So first I need to grab the model ID here. So what's the model ID? So let's go to the model and grab its ID. So what's the ID of this model? This would be uh, Ajax dialog and model body. I'm not able to get its ID. It's here. I'm going to add an ID of uh, uh, Ajax uh, model right so let me copy this so uh, Ajax model and then I'm going to hide this model right so here I'm going to add this Ajax model dot uh, I think the function is model dot hide so if uh, faced any errors we will fix this don't worry so let's get refresh because we are on the client side so we need to refresh this and check its output and so you need to also open this console so if we get, uh, got any errors it will be printed in the console save it's going to submit the request and yes it's submitted but our this model is not closed but there is no error why it's not closed so i need to add this id in the proper place i think i added this in the wrong place that's why it's not closing this model so what's the issue video is going very bigger so i'm going to shoot this in the next video and i will also explain to you that uh, how i can debug this uh, issue and uh, i will also tell you that uh, how i find this issue so i will meet you in the next one bye bye